Hey, how's it going everybody? Alright, so if you've been watching so far, uh, making this uh, knife sheath for my wife. Yes, even wives need to arm themselves. Anyway, so this is what I got. Kind of wanted to stop here and tell you a little bit about it. This is primarily how I make my knife sheaths. I don't know what you would call this type. I call it a layered one. Um, as you can see, the entire belt loop is actually one piece of leather folded over. And that way it makes the back nice and smooth just like the front. Also put a layer right here. So it's basically the uh, thickness of the handle of this knife allows the knife to lay nice and flat. And then you got your welt spacer right here. And then you got your top. And this is basically the bare bones of it. There's your handle strap right there. And this is a little dark. Um, it's still wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a little fire starter here for my wife. And uh, it'll be sewn on there. Maybe riveted. Not sure exactly where. But what I do in this type of situation where there's nothing else. If you've seen my survival knife, I have the little strap on the sharpening stone to hold this. But what I'll do is you can just latch this around just like that and it's not going to go anywhere. I'll make a different lanyard for it so it'll stay on there. But I'll attach the fire starter somewhere on here. And uh, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the nice uh, little uh, border groove all the way around. Just gives it a nice uh, nice look even on the handle strap. Uh, the only It's also for your, I think they call the stitching groovers. Uh, use that line so you know where to put your stitching but uh, I put it all over just kind of makes it look pretty nice and uh, that's it and this is going to be dyed and finished in certain times and certain places I've seen people put an entire sheath together and dip it in wax uh, I think that's a little lazy and uh, I don't know waxing your sheath is nice it waterproofs it but uh, it ends up getting sticky if you wear it out in the heat and uh, yeah I think it's a little lazy um, I will dye this at certain times, certain parts, and uh, make sure that all that all comes out nice and neat. And uh, figure out where to put that fire starter. And uh, I already beveled everything where I needed it. It's beveled along here, here, the straps, the edges all, are all beveled. Right here along the top, of the, the top piece of leather is beveled. Everything else isn't. Once it's all done, I'm going to be sanding the sides. And then after I sand it, I'll be beveling those edges, so there's no need to do that right now. But for right now, uh, it's a little bit of gluing. i got to let this dry, uh, put some holes to sew it, um, do a little bit of gluing and a little bit of dyeing. So, there you go.